also had friends while we leave the life either. Now die! What's going on guys? It's Ethan Fairbanks and we're back with another video. And today we're going to be training chest and shoulders. So, I've been training chest twice a week recently. Um, instead of like three to four times. And something that I notice is since I'm not training it three to four times a week, I feel like I'm not, I don't have enough chest exercises in my workout plans. So I started implementing incline bench, incline dumbbell bench uh, on both of my chest days. So on my first chest day, I kind of go more around my chest and then do a little bit of shoulder work. And then on my second chest, chest day, I usually do a little bit more shoulders um, and then a little bit of chest. But basically, come to find out that for probably a month, two months maybe, I've, I haven't been training enough of either. So in my first initial like primary chest day, I wouldn't train enough shoulders, okay? And then in my second chest day, I wouldn't train enough chest. So I'm trying to fix that. I'm doing an incline dumbbell bench uh, two times a week now. And then I'm also, I'm training that pretty heavy as well, low, low reps, training the hypertrophy, um, really trying to get the muscle and strength growth. And then I'm also doing lateral raises um, on both days as well to kind of like kick my shoulders into gear and get some lactic acid build up there too. We're going to go hit chest and I'll see you guys at the gym. It's not like I didn't want to be the monster. It's because the game itself just felt so incredibly one-sided and unfair. Heroes and Monsters is just a game of pretend based on kids' TV shows. Everyone's free to choose what role they play. But me, I was friendless. Always with a dark cloud above. Everyone knew who the hero was going to be. I didn't stand a chance in hell. The popular kid always beats up the little guy that no one likes. That's just the way the world works. I was always the loser. Screw justice. And screw evil, too. I'm gonna be killed simply because that's what everyone else wants? All I want is to make them understand. I'm here to fight for underdogs everywhere. Time to get 
into the reason that most of you guys probably clicked on this video and that is how to find your caloric maintenance. So first things first, you need to figure out how much you weigh. You need to get a scale, they're very cheap, you can find them for like $20 on Amazon. Pick one of those up, figure out how much that you are weighing, that is step number one. Also, you're going to need a food scale to get really serious about your diet and to really zone in on your diet and figure out how much you're eating exactly throughout the day. Figure out how much you're eating right now. So this is very important. You need to figure out how much you're eating so you can figure out how much you need to continue eating, but eating it clean. And when you try to figure out how much you're eating right now, you can either go off of what you think you're eating if you have a pretty good idea, but if you don't, I highly recommend you use MyFitnessPal to track all of your calories for a day, two, three days, and just eat normally, track those calories for those three days. And from there, you're gonna get a pretty good idea of how much you eat on average. The thing with MyFitnessPal is, is when you sign up, you're gonna get a bunch of information. It's gonna ask you a bunch of questions. It's gonna give you a false macro profile, which I would highly recommend that you just avoid using. All you're using MyFitnessPal for is to track your calories, but it's really important that you figure out how much you're eating on average, because then all you need to do is you need to eat clean from there. And that brings me to the next step, which is eating clean. So you need to eat your average amount of calories, but you need to eat it clean. So let's say that just for the sake of the video, let's keep it very simple. Let's say you're a 160 pound individual after weighing yourself. And let's say that you're eating 3000 calories a day. So first things first, what you need to do is you need to figure out your macros. And to do that, first thing we have to understand is that one gram of fat is equal to nine calories. One gram of protein is equal to four calories. And one gram of carbs is equal to four calories. These are very important. You need to remember these. So if you're a 160 pound person, then that means that first you need to figure out how many protein, fats, and carbs you're eating. And to figure that out, a good rule of thumb is that for protein, you need to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if you're 160 pounds, you need to eat 160 grams of protein. A good rule of thumb for fats is you need to eat half a gram of fat per pound of body weight. So you need, if you're a 160 pound person, you need to eat 80 grams of fat. And carbs is a little bit more tricky, but I'm going to show you guys how to figure that out. So to figure out carbs, first you need to calculate out your protein and your fats in calories. And to do that, we need to remember the numbers I just gave you previously. So if you weigh 160 pounds, remember that means that we are eating 80 grams of fat. So we take 80 multiplied by 9. And that gives you 720. So that is the total number of calories for fats. Now we need to figure out the total number of calories for protein. So we take 160 and we multiply that by 4. And that gives us 640. So now we need to add the previous total of fats to the total calories of protein. So we add 720 to 640. And that gives us a total of 1,360 calories. Now if you remember before, we are just saying for the sake of the video that this 160 pound individual is eating 3,000 calories previously in a day. So now what we need to do is we need to take the total number of calories subtracted by the total number of fats and proteins, which is 1,360. So we take 3,000 subtracted by 1,360 calories and we get 1,640, which is, by the way, it is a very high number of carbs. Most 160 pound people probably aren't eating this many carbs, but this is just an example for the sake of the video and we're keeping it easy. So now what we need to do is we need to take this number, this total number of calories for carbs, and remember one gram of carb is equal to four calories. So what we need to do is we need to divide this number by four which gives you 410 grams of carbs. So now we know the total macro profile we need to eat to get to 3,000 calories. We need to eat 80 grams of fat, 160 grams of protein, and 410 grams of carbs. From here on, this is where things get a little bit more easy, but it's going to be a little bit more time consuming because after you eat this for about a week to two weeks, I suggest two weeks, if you hop on the scale and you've gained 
weight within that two weeks, it means that you need to drop the calories, which I would take it from your carbs since um, we need to keep your protein and your fats at that level. And dieting is super intricate, so this is just a video to explain your caloric maintenance, nothing else. So there obviously is a lot more to do with dieting than just, you know, removing carbs and gaining and losing weight. But for, for the sake of the video, to figure out your caloric maintenance, I recommend that you take away from your carbs if you're gaining weight and you're trying to figure out your maintenance. First thing you should do is you drop your carbs. So next thing is if we're trying to find our maintenance and you're losing weight, then you need to raise your carbs. And you need to consistently raise them by anywhere from 100 to 200 calories every single time that you weigh yourself for a period of two weeks until you maintain a static weight. That's pretty much how you calculate caloric maintenance. It's It's got a lot of steps and it's very intricate and dieting is a lot more intricate than everything I've explained, but this is just a very easy, quick way to calculate your maintenance and it's honestly the best way. There's a lot of apps out there that will give you an okay idea of your caloric maintenance, but they're pretty inaccurate. And if you really want to zone in and take things seriously, this is the best way to do it. So there's no cheat there's no cheat codes to success, and this is definitely something that I recommend each and every single one of you guys who really wants to take their diet seriously needs to do. Anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Also, comment. Let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future. Hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with every single video I post in the future. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, it's been real. Love you guys. See you in the next one.